Today's video is sponsored by TradeSkinsFast.com. This website offers safe and automated CSGO skin trading and it's a great and fast way to trade your items. If you are selling on a big number of skins and can't find anyone to trade them for a knife, be sure to check them out. You can find the link to the website in the video description. Hey guys, it's Rill again. And right now I will open 15 of the new Spectrum cases for you guys and I hope that I can show as many of the new skins to you as I can. I did open four of those cases already. I did open three in a matchmaking that I played together with Chambo, Mr. Tweedy, Chandis and Shadowbringer. And I did get lucky and got this Orb Fever Dream that you see right here. Look at the dude. Let's check I'm gonna be stuff. kicked out of my apartment if I get a knife. <laughs> what did you get? That must be good. The Orb, the Orb. Orb no. Fever Dream. No I way. I did, I did. Fuck. Fuck. Someone, someone kicked Minimal me. Minimal where? I just checked, wasn't that like 300 euros on the market? So that happened. Um, I sold this one for 75 dollars, so I made some profit on that case. I think overall, yeah, I'm, I'm back to zero basically. I think I almost spent those um, 75 dollars on the four cases that I opened. So that was pretty good and lucky to start with. But now let's have a look if I can get something even better from the 15 cases that I bought. Let's have a quick peek into this case. I think when it comes to the weapon finishes itself, um, those look pretty decent. The most special thing about this case is of course that you can get the Generation 2 knives with the Chroma finishes. You can get the Tiger Tooth and the Huntsman Butterfly and so on. But other than that, I think apart from the op that I already unboxed, I think this M4A1S is pretty cool, the AK-47 Bloodsport and the USP Neo Noir. So I would be very happy to get one of those three. As I said, I already unboxed the Orb Fever Dream right here. So I'm hoping for one of these three, if not even the knife. So let's see what I can get. The first item is gonna be the Stat Trek Bison Jungle Slipstream. Well, I mean it's mere spec weapon, pretty Plain and boring in my opinion, I don't like it that much, but yeah, just a very common blue skin, so you wouldn't really expect anything super fancy on those. There was the Orb Fever Dream again. Alright, at least it's not a duplicated skin already, it's the SCAR 20 Blueprint, which I think doesn't look too bad actually. That's, yeah, pretty, pretty solid skin in my opinion, that's not bad. Alright, let's continue, and I really hope that I don't get like three or four different skins in total out of these 15 cases because whenever I did open a new case when it came out I got really unlucky I wanted to show off as many different skins as I could and I ended up getting like three or different three or four different skins in total because I got them duplicated so many times come on but give me give me at least the purple in this video I oh know I'm gonna miss it even it's gonna be the sort of Zender which I already unboxed in the previous case this is, in my opinion, the worst skin in that case. Really don't like this one. But then again, it's the sort of. I'm most likely not gonna play this even. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, I got one of those three. M4A1S Decimator. I think Anomaly also already unboxed this. I, I saw it on his Twitter. Nice! That's a good skin. That's. That's in Battle Scout? This one is in Battle Scout? Well, how's the factory new version going? How's the factory new version gonna look like that? Alright, but I'm gonna take it. I've literally no, no idea how this could be Battle Scout. I don't even feel like it's super dark or anything. But yeah, I'm gonna take it. Nice. But really, how is this? Battle Scout, and I'm not quite sure if this is gonna sell for more than the Orb Fever Dream that I unboxed tonight. But uh, I, I think I can already be quite happy with it. And I'm gonna follow up even with a restricted weapon. The Mac 10 Last Dive. Probably not gonna be my favorite Mac 10 skin ever, but it's not super ugly either. That's sick. Nice. The M4A1S. Already, and we follow up with another restricted weapon, the UMP, what is it called scaffold, which I think also doesn't look too bad either. Probably the second best looking restricted skin that you could get out of this case. 
That's not bad. I'm actually getting quite lucky here. And there's another new skin that I already didn't unbox. I'm doing a great job at not getting any duplicates this time. MP7 Echo Ben. The Coben. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. But yeah, as you can see, I unboxed like 8 cases already. Didn't get a single duplicate. That's nice. <gasps> no! Oh, I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it. That would have been so sick right now. Getting a second op fever dream. If I happen to get that, I'm pretty sure I would have had my money back for all those cases. Because I think from the M4A1S alone, I'm not gonna get the money back that I spent on all these keys and cases. We got this one already, the SCAR 20 blueprint. First one was also in a better condition, so let's just skip that and continue. Alright, another new skin, the Desert Eagle Oxide Blaze, which is literally just the Desert Eagle Blaze pattern with, uh, with a rusty deagle and the white Oxide in front, I guess. That's not... I think it's pretty cool. The Sword of Zender again. In my opinion, that's the worst looking skin in that case, or the most boring one. So I just skip that and continue with the remaining three cases. So, come on! I think I already got this one as well. Just one more good item. If I happen to get another pink, I would be super happy with that. P250 Ripper right here. Two cases remain. We got a single pink so far. Alright, already got that one as well, MP7 Echo Ben. Okay, the very last case out of this 15. Come on, let me wrap the rare special item maybe, maybe that helps. Come on, please. No, it's not gonna be anything super special, it's gonna be the PP Bison Jungle Slipstream once again. And that's it for the 15 cases. Um, overall, that's good case opening luck for, my, for, for me at least, even though there's nothing super special in here. But let me do the trade up for those maybe as well. I think there's not really any restricted weapon out there in this case that's gonna be super expensive. But yeah, let me just throw all of these in there. We get the UMP 45 scaffold again. That's alright. And yeah, that's it. Those are the 15 cases opened. I did get lucky and got the M4A1S Decimator right here. Once again, this one is in battle scarred condition. No idea how this is battle scarred because I don't see any scratches and I also don't really feel like it's super dark or anything. But I'm quite happy with that. At least I get a bit of the money back that I spent on all these cases. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about this case. And with that being said, if you want, I made an update video about this update that came out tonight. You can find the link to that in the video description. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.